I'm originally from India. I went to med school in India and then I went on to do a master's in molecular medicine in the UK and then I you know followed my dreams to be in America doing endocrinology so I pursued a residency at Einstein Philadelphia and then went on to do a fellowship in endocrinology at Penn. So as a part of my fellowship I opted to train in obesity medicine and that is a special interest that I carry. A major part of my practice is obesity medicine where we focus on not just chronic endocrine conditions but the actual root cause of these endocrine conditions. So the way we address obesity is quite different from how we treat other endocrine conditions and my role as a medical bariatrician is to help people understand the role of diet, the role of other lifestyle measures such as physical activity and also help them by giving them appropriate medications at the right time. Patients can end up in my clinic in a number of ways. Most of the times they are referred by their primary care physicians, but a bulk of uh, my practice is also patients who just want to see an endocrinologist. You can see an endocrinologist for a number of reasons. You may have diabetes, you may have high cholesterol, you may have thyroid problems, low or high thyroid problems, you may have conditions associated with the parathyroid hormone, you may have hyper or hypoparathyroidism, adrenal diseases, pituitary diseases, women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, menopause itself could be a reason why you should see an endocrinologist. I am married to a bariatric surgeon. I have two children, an eight-year-old girl and a to-be two-year-old girl. So I love singing and dancing. I am trained in Indian classical forms of both. And uh, we enjoy going outdoors with the kids, um, biking and taking the kids out to uh, theme parks and water parks and such. I chose coordinated health because I see this as a very unique opportunity to bring together many specialties and treat the person as an individual. If I were the patient, I would want to know the ifs, whats and buts and also the whys and whens. And that's how I want to treat my patients. So it's not important to just educate myself as a physician going forward, but I think it's very important to educate every patient walking in through the door. And that is a primary focus in my practice.